We are back now on the show to talk about some on-the-field issues going on with the Dallas Cowboys instead of focusing solely on what's going on off the field with the contract negotiations and what Jerry Jones says, what Dak says, and everything like that. We'll talk about Trey Lance finally back into some NFL action over this weekend playing for the first time in a long time since 2022 and his first game action in over a year and a half now. And with that, he did play for the Dallas Cowboys, obviously for the first time, because last year he was traded here to Dallas, but it was after the preseason. So it was pretty, a pretty weird trade to just happen out of nowhere to kind of have him there as a security of some sorts there in that quarterback room to potentially give him a chance further down the line. And now we kind of got to see him here in the offseason, see where he's at, see if there was any major developments over this, you know, long hiatus that he has been on not playing. You know, he is entering the fourth year in the NFL now for himself and has gone a full offseason now, finally, to learn this offense, try to integrate himself into the concepts, into what Mike McCarthy wants to see in his offense. So that really has helped him, I think, over this offseason to get a better understanding of what he's supposed to do out there. And Now, a big test of that to see where he's at in his development is the preseason. Obviously, he played in the game over the weekend against the Los Angeles Rams. Besides the results, because they don't really matter in the preseason, he got the majority of the reps in that first game. Cooper Rush did start, but like I said, Trey Lance got the majority of the playing time in in that game because head coach Mike McCarthy said that he planned it this way because you know, Trey Lance just needs to be out there against other opponents to have game-like experience to try and be up to speed as much as he can when and if his name ever gets called to be needed during the regular season. In that game against the Los Angeles Rams, Trey Lance finished with a 25-41 for performance, 188 yards. He didn't throw any interceptions, but he also didn't throw any touchdowns against the Rams. And, you know, you look at those numbers, completing just above 50% of his passes. He made a lot of plays with his legs as well. So, you know, kind of showing a little bit of everything, but not, in some people's minds, not ideally what you'd want to see out of Trey Lance because full context, this is a guy that was drafted, you know, top five in the NFL draft a while ago now, and he's had to deal with injuries, not starting, obviously, because he was a rookie, and then you get traded here. There's been a lot of circumstances in his path to fully, you know, be developed as a quarterback in the NFL. And now that he gets his first game action in a while, this is he's only ever started in eight games in his career. So to get this game experience now, it's huge for him. So I wasn't really expecting him to be, I don't know, like 35 for 41 for 200 yards, a touchdown or something like that. I was not expecting that. And for him to put up these numbers, it didn't really tell me too much of as to where Trey Lance is right now because the first time you're out there I don't think anybody really should expect too much out of Trey Lance and Mike McCarthy almost pretty much said the same thing that he was pleased with what he saw out of Trey Lance but he also said he's making good progress he's definitely wired the right way he's a great athlete just a lot of work to do basically is what Mike McCarthy said and Trey Lance also was asked about his overall thoughts after the game, and he pretty much also echoed those sentiments from Mike McCarthy, in which he said, I think I left some plays out there for so, or for sure across the board from the first quarter to the fourth. We got the four extra possessions, and we didn't score touchdowns. That's not a good feeling. So feeling a little bit disappointed, but again, even of how harsh of a critic he might be on himself, In reality, looking at the situation of just how it is all laid out for Trey Lance, he is coming in as the number three quarterback in this quarterback room for the Dallas Cowboys. He's the number three guy in the depth chart. So are these numbers anything you'd expect less than from a third string quarterback in the NFL? Probably not. They're probably what you'd expect up until this point. The only difference with Trey Lance, and and it is a major one, is that he was drafted so high but not a lot of guys have been put in the situation where Trey Lance got the opportunity to potentially start with the 49ers. He obviously gets hurt. That, you know, throws everything out the window. They miraculously 
end up with Brock Purdy and you know he takes over that starting job so now with Trey Lance you're sort of in an awkward spot where you don't really need him because you have Brock Purdy so instead of him continuing his development he gets traded to a whole new different area a whole new different situation with the Dallas Cowboys where they already have a starter as well and now he has to learn everything get caught up to speed as well as continuing his rehab to fully be integrated back to anywhere close to the player that he was once he got drafted out of college and with all that being the case I looked at Trey Lance at Trey Lance as a quarterback where similar to Josh Allen coming out of college where they it's a very raw talent that you have here at the quarterback position and did Josh Allen make a ton of mistakes early on absolutely the turnover problem was a huge thing for Josh but he stayed the organization stayed with Josh they put a lot of faith in him and they continued to develop him you know get him to grow and understand everything that goes into being a quarterback not just using your athleticism because at this level that can only take you so far it's the same thing similar to Trey Lance where very athletic still has to develop those mechanics reading zones you know figuring out what coverage the opposing defense is in, everything like that, all that just comes with reps, and he hasn't had that over the last, you know, couple of years here, plus trying to learn a whole new system. It's going to be extremely challenging also. So for my just reactions to the takeaways that I took away from this preseason game for just Trey Lance in general, um, you know, it's the first time out there. I didn't really have too much expectations for Trey Lance in his first game, I knew it was going to be rough. I knew it wasn't going to be something to write home about. He was basically like a rookie, pretty much, heading out there for his first preseason game up until this point with how much time that he's missed. So did I expect any of the rookies to, you know, put up the numbers that they did? That's why I was so impressed yesterday in talking about it, how, you know, Jaden, Caleb, JJ, all looked very polished, pretty under control, and very much looked the part as rookie quarterbacks coming in and being eventually the faces of their franchise. That's why I was so surprised because I don't think it's really to be expected or honestly fair in some instances to think that these quarterbacks are just going to come in and, you know, turn and just go lights out and play a great game right away in the NFL. I didn't expect that from Trey Lance. And again, he's not going to be the starter. So there's not that pressure from a lot of people to look at Trey Lance and think, well, he's eventually going to start, so this is this looks awful if he's gonna eventually going to start. He's the third-string quarterback on the Dallas Cowboys, and at one point in time, I know I talked about, you know, giving Trey Lance an opportunity to potentially try something out here with the Dallas Cowboys if you couldn't figure out anything with Dak, but it looks like right now they are, they're looking a bit more comfortable with Cooper Rush as a potential hypothetical replacement for Dak Prescott if they can't figure out an extension with him plus also if they do get that extension done they're not going to be thinking about Trey Lance in any sort of remote fashion if they agree to a four three-year deal with Dak Prescott paying him a ton of money Trey Lance in this experiment that they have with him is going to go out the door so really the Cowboys and any sort of pressure that Trey might have been feeling compared to other rookie quarterbacks wasn't going to be there. You know, the expectations and the pressure for Trey to go out there and perform were really just coming from him overall, just wanting to go out there and prove himself, trying to make this team, honestly, because he is in the last year of his rookie contract, and the Cowboys have really nothing to lose because it looks like they're just going to stick with Cooper Rush at the end of the day to be a replacement for Dak if that becomes the situation, or they're just going to keep Dak and Trey Lance is really not in a situation here where he could fit in or potentially start with the Dallas Cowboys in the in the near future. So it's really just up to him to go out there, learn from this, and you know take it into the next preseason game because I'm sure he's going to play a lot in that game as well to try and improve and at least earn himself a spot on this roster. And maybe, who knows, somewhere down the line, something happens, something falls in his lap, or he just finds another situation where another team is interested in him, this time right now to kind of get back into the, into the flow of things is going to go a long way. And again, what did he go? 25 for, for 41? Yeah, he went 25 for 41 for 188. Not awful by any means. You know, completing almost 50 or just above 50%, almost 200 yards, 
It is the first preseason game. He definitely wasn't out there against starting level players, but you know, it was all right for the first time. I don't think too many people were watching this expecting Trey to, to show them something here. There wasn't too many um, expectations going in, so I didn't think that this was a groundbreaking, disappointing you know, performance from Trey. It is what you'd expect, honestly, um, in a third-string quarterback and out of Trey Lance, who hasn't played since 2022. So that's pretty much all that I took away from Trey Lance. Now, am I expecting him to perform at this level hopefully he gets better in the next game but again with the circumstances that he's facing not too much writing into this going forward for the Cowboys um in trying to fit him in anywhere honestly so that's where it stands with Trey Lance hopefully he improves in this upcoming week's matchup against I forget who they're playing but it will be important for him to perform in that game but Regardless of that, we're going to move on to the last two topics I have here. Gerard Mayo talking about being snubbed by Brandon Ayuk in those trade discussions. And also, just giving you guys an injury update after the first week of preseason. Who is on the bench right now trying to nurse an injury? J.J. McCarthy was a big one that happened today. We're going to talk about that. Drew Locke, Malik Neighbors, Marquise Brown. All these guys that are suffering from injuries and how the how long they're going to be out, and the severity of them as well. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.